Hi, I'm George the Weather Dad for your midweek update, and boy, do I have a doozy for you, especially those of you in the upper Midwest. It looks like you're in for a major ice storm and a lot of rain in southern Illinois and Indiana. I'll get to that in a minute, but also it looks like a lot of snow for the Rockies. And then as we round out the week, California, you're going to get into the action. Now let's take a look at the map for Wednesday morning. Now, it doesn't look that bad. There's some pretty heavy snow in the central Rockies. You see some rain there across the central Midwest. You see a little bit of red and purple. Well, that, well, that's just some ice and some very heavy snow. Now, that's Wednesday morning. Look what happens by Wednesday afternoon. That system just flat out explodes. Take a look at all the red stretching from Iowa, northern Illinois, uh, southern Wisconsin, southern Michigan, Detroit. Looks like you're going to have a mess of it. Northern Indiana, northern Ohio, and that stretches all the way into Pennsylvania and even portions of New York. That red, that's just some really, really heavy ice. Uh, we could be looking at some power outages in that area where you see that very heavy red and then the purple extreme snow. But also notice the compaction of the black lines, how close they are. That just means there's going to be some very strong winds as well. All that does not bode well for branches and trees and power lines. I do believe there could be some power outages where you see the red, and that stretches again all the way from possibly Buffalo, New York, uh, through Detroit, south of Grand Rapids, into Chicago, and south of uh, Milwaukee, and on into the Quad Cities there in Illinois and Iowa. Now, look at the uh, red, uh, yellow and orange. That is some very heavy rain, folks. There could be some flash flooding in central Illinois, central Indiana, and that could be moving towards Indianapolis and Fort Wayne. But by Thursday and even Wednesday night, this whole system starts weakening. So not much, I don't think, is going to happen um, east of, uh, let's say, Pennsylvania, at least central uh, Pennsylvania, eastward and up into New York and uh, New England. I think, uh, for the most part, uh, you're going to be in pretty decent shape the way this is showing up right now. Also, some very heavy snow, I forgot to mention, for southern Minnesota and northern Iowa. So uh, it's going to be a messy, messy day on Wednesday for you. On Wednesday also, again, this is Wednesday afternoon, central Rockies. There's going to be some heavy snow for you there as well. Now, on Thursday, most of this is going to be weakening, so Thursday doesn't look that bad, so let's jump all the way to Friday, and as you can see here, most of the nation is fairly quiet. There is some rain in Dixie, but uh, overall, not too bad there, but uh, let me take you all the way to the West Coast. California, you're going to get into the act here on Friday. A storm system approaches. That's probably going to be more of a Thursday night and on into Friday type of situation. Heavy rain along the coast. Watch out for that. And some extreme heavy snows into the Sierras. And we all know that the uh, Sierra snowpack is well above normal for this time of year. This is just going to add to it. That system will migrate eastward and be somewhat of a factor, I think, probably more on Sunday for the central U.S., but I will update your weekend forecast on Thursday. So until then, I'm George, the Weather Dad.